Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking to you guys about my 2020 bookish goals. I believe I made my first and last bookish goals video like two years ago and I didn't do one for 2019 but I thought it would be very interesting to do them for 2020 and see at the end of the year if I did everything that I promised myself to do. So I have a couple of just goals in general and some more specific book related goals like books that I want to read in 2020. Let's just start with the general goal. I do participate in the Goodreads challenge. I know that some people don't. They just do not want to like pressure themselves into reading a certain amount of books. The last two years I have put this goal at a very low number of books just because I also don't want to pressure myself at reading a certain amount of books each year but it is also nice to sometimes motivate me so I do keep it at a very realistic goal. I do not make it like for instance a goal to read 50 books a year. For some people that might be so easy to do. For me it is not because I'm constantly distracted by different things or just my day is not going as I planned it to go. That is why my goal for 2020 is to read 35 books. For this year 2019 my goal was to read 30 and I already reached that goal at the end of November so I think that 35 is a realistic goal for me to kind of push myself a bit more. I have some more time off to read because I'm doing less courses at university so I have a very calm year I think ahead of me. I don't know. Future Sabine will probably tell me differently maybe. So hopefully I will be able to do that. Another goal is to read at least five fantasy books. So like five out of the 35 I believe is just a very small portion and it will probably be doable. This year I Think I haven't read that much fantasy but kind of depends on which books you do categorize as fantasy books. The only two that I would clearly categorize as fantasy is The Wicked King by Holly Black and Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson but I've also read the first three books in the Wayward Children series so that might be fantasy as well. And I read City of Ghosts by... oh shit I haven't recorded my sound. Okay. Plus I've also read City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, which is like an adventure story with ghosts, but it's set in our world. So would you classify that as fantasy? I feel like I just haven't read a lot of fantasy this year and I just want to read some hardcore fantasy books in 2020 because I do actually love the genre. I just feel super intimidated starting one because I know it takes me more time to read and it takes me some time to get into the world. Then something that I'm like very hesitant about, but it kind of depends on your enthusiasm that is to make a book Twitter. I've heard so many of my friends talk about Twitter and that it is a huge thing in the book community. I just haven't had a Twitter in five years I believe. I was so obsessed with it back when I was 11. I just put lots of like nonsense on there but let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in maybe me having a book Twitter. I just I don't feel that like great about it but just let me know. The next goal is something that I never thought I would do because I'm such a collector. I collect things like so incredibly much and it's difficult for me to get rid of things so my next goal is to unhaul all of the books that I do not feel excited about anymore or books that I'm just never ever gonna reread. I have so many books. I have four bookshelves like that is insane. I have more unread books than I have read books and I know that I need to make some space on my shelves because I do keep on hauling them. I have so many books that I've read that I do not like that I don't want to keep but I also have books on my shelves which I just like bought three or four years ago because they were so cheap and now I'm like I don't feel that interested in these books anymore and I think I'm gonna unhaul a shit ton of books. <laughs> so I want to do that at the beginning of 2020 to sort of like clear my shelves, clean everything, get all the negative energy out of my bookshelves. <laughs> oh my god I'm so cringy. And then I will probably like sell them on my Instagram or something like that. Yeah keep an eye out for a book on haul in the very near future. And then the last general bookish related goal is to create my own bookmarks and sell them on my Etsy shop. I have been talking about this potential Etsy shop to 
all of my friends for over a year and I'm very much a talker instead of a doer, if you can say something like that. I talk about making goals and I talk about doing things, but then I don't actually do them. So this year, in 2020, I want to create some bookmarks, good bookmarks, and sell them on my own Etsy shop. Yeah, I hope that you guys will be interested in that too. And then I have four more specific book goals, like books that I want to read in 2020. A series that I absolutely want to finish in 2020 is the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. Victoria Schwab, but this is more like the name where she publishes more like new adult books on. I've actually already read A Darker Shade of Magic, but it was like two years ago, so I want to give this one a reread. I really enjoyed it back then, and I even decided to make like a little drawing on the cover of London. I loved it back then, like so incredibly much, and I'm like slapping myself on the face, like why didn't I continue on with the series? I'm so bad at doing stuff like that. I always read the first book, and then I don't decide to continue on with the series like immediately or very soon and then I forget all the details. I'm saying to myself, ooh, I need to reread this again, just like with A Court of Mist and Fury, rereading it because I forgot so many things and I hate myself for doing that. So I'm gonna give this one a reread and then I'm gonna pick up A Gathering of Shadows, the second book, and then the third book is A Conjuring a Conjuring of Light. These get thicker throughout the series and I always get scared of big books, but I just, I need to not be as afraid of big books as I am because they are wonderful and when I'm probably gonna finish this series, I'm gonna be like, I need more of this world. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this series. Like I desperately want to do it this year. And then my second specific bookish goal is to read all of Taylor Jenkins Reads books. So I own four of her books, which I've all bought this year. 2019 was a Taylor Jenkins filled year of reading. I love this woman so incredibly much. Love Daisy Jones and the Six. I think The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is my favorite, even though this is the second book that I read from her. I also really enjoyed One True Loves, but not my fave. Um, and then this one, Forever Interrupted, I own and I still need to read, but I want to get all of her books and I want to read them all. And I think that will be a very doable goal for 2020 because I'm so obsessed with her books. The third specific book goal is to reread all of the Harry Potter books, but then in the illustrated edition, which have already come out. Not gonna take them off my shelf because they are so secure in here, but I am still currently reading the Prisoner of Azkaban illustrated edition, and I also have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I read all the Harry Potter books in Dutch, but this is my first time reading the Harry Potter books in English, and it is so much better. This is how JK Rowling wrote the story and I just love reading it, plus the illustrated editions. Until so far, I haven't heard amazing things about the Goblet of Fire one, but the illustrations are so detailed and they make the story so much more vivid and like, I love it so incredibly much. So yeah, that's my goal for 2020. And then the last goal that I have is to read a Stephen King book. I have a feeling that I will like Stephen King. I might be completely wrong here, but I've always been looking at his books on Amazon and like doubting if I should get one because he is just a classic author who writes mostly, I believe, horror stories. I just want to read a Stephen King book. I've always been super interested in his book, The Long Walk. You should look up the synopsis on Goodreads. I have no clue why that book specifically speaks to me. I won't be reading it because that one is just way too big. It's over a thousand pages long and I'm intimidated by big books. So so I won't be starting that one. If you guys have any recommendations for me to start with Stephen King, let me know in the comments down below. I was maybe thinking of reading The Shining because I also haven't seen that movie and I just want to. <laughs> but I first want to read the book. So those were all of my 2020 bookish goals. Let me know in the comments down below what your goals are for 2020, bookish or not. Just let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. So because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address. Ooh, and links to those will all be in the description bar down below as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!